What's going on you all? My name is Jason Page. For those of you in the Tampa area, I go by Poppy Page. Um, my job is a crazy lifestyle. I'm in the promotion field and I run events all week. Um, it's a lot of running around, a lot of here and there, there and here, consistently in my phone. And pretty much I needed to come and find something that can help me, give me the energy that I needed to stay consistent with work. Mm. I felt okay. Um, I felt better before. My, like I said, my energy was just not where it should have been. Um, trying to work out, I was able to finish the workout, but I wasn't able to push myself like how I used to do before things got crazy after the pandemic. Everything closed, staying in the house was kind of a hard thing to do. Working out at home sounds like it would be easy, but when you have snacks and everything around, nowhere to go, you can't leave your house, things get kind of repetitive. So uh, I decided to become a patient just for the fact of me hearing so many good things about Titan, me knowing a lot of people that worked here at Titan, and all the positive responses from people who are already a patient at Titan. Um, I said, hey, let's, let's give it a shot. I, I know how my body normally feels, and my body feels off. Like I said, coming out of everything we've been going through. So, reached out to John, came over to Titan, got introduced to my buddy Art, and you know, did everything I needed to do, got my blood work done. They pretty much showed me what I needed to work on and, and what was down and what was up. And some things were down that I didn't think, personally, I, I didn't think they were down. So, the thing I needed really to enhance was probably my energy, my energy and my focus. I noticed that since my energy was down, my focus was kind of shifting everywhere and, and wasn't a good feeling. So currently I take the ECA Stack Plus. Now this is like my miracle pill. I take this in the morning with my, uh, my tea and my shake. What it does, is it's a consistent release of, of caffeine or energy throughout the day. There's no crash. It, it helps in the process of me working out, giving me that boost in the gym to where I don't take a pre-workout anymore because I don't need it. And at the same time, it helps me speed up my recovery. And you see the gains, the lean muscle. That's what we do, baby. And uh, overall, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's exactly what I need. Titan offers a lot of other therapies for an, a range of people, but specifically for me, I have a athletic frame. And what I needed for me was just my boost of energy to help me get into the gym Help me get back going and now it's i'm consistently where i want to be i feel good uh that's what it comes down to um these therapies just are set for people that specifically need things that they specifically need if if you want to feel better energy wise they have something for that if overall health wise you have something else going on they have something for that i feel great i'm able to i wake up at 5 30 a.m in the morning I'm in the gym by seven. Um, I start my day early. I'm not cranky anymore. It's always A1. Uh, shout out to my girl, Meech. <laughs> she always takes care of me. She always makes sure that even if I forget to make a phone call to order my therapies for the next month, I know that I'm getting that call from Titan to say, hey, Mr. Page, time to put in for the next month. Yeah, it bothers me if I don't have it. Not that I need it, but I enjoy taking it because I know the benefits that I have from taking it and I would rather take it than to stop taking it. So, so. beyond happy, I'm, um, I'm grateful for Titan. I appreciate them as a company, as a whole, for just helping people get to a point to where they're able to move how they once did. I'm not an old man, but I get so busy and so caught up when my energy is drained I'm kind of drained and this just kind of helps me get to the point to where I don't get too drained. Like I said, my lifestyle, I'm all over, I'm active, I'm here, I'm working out, I'm there, I'm dealing with a lot of people, making sure that uh, business still gets conducted as it should, but I feel better, so my business is doing good. And uh, tight and strong.
What's up, guys? It's Big Drew with Type Medical. I'm here for Deke Show, the Mid Florida Classic. Always a great show every year here in Orlando. We're at check ins tomorrow. Free judging starts at 9 a.m. and it's at the Rosen Plaza. There's like a thousand roses. Make sure it's the Rosen Plaza and check out my boy Deke. We got Destiny here, one of our newest tight nets. We're ready to roll. So, how you feeling about the show, Deke? Ready to go? Ready to go. Fired up, ready to go. We got over 100 and some of our competitors. Nice. Great athletes. I've seen plenty of them on Instagram. They're all fired up, ready to go. Nice. And tomorrow, it's going to be on. It's going to be on. So make sure you guys check it out tomorrow again at the Rosen Plaza, 9 p.m. Tell them Big Drew sent you. Come check out Deke. Come check out Destiny. And come by and check us out for a free t-shirt. Let's go. What's up guys, John from Titan here, and I want to talk about another big question that I get. It is, John, how much or how many over-the-counter supplements or oral supplementation should I do? Um, and I respond back with, hey listen, what are you deficient in or what are you trying to do to try to figure out, you know, what you really should be doing. But the fact is, is a lot of people overdo it a lot of the time on oral supplementation or over-the-counter supplements. They really don't know what these things do to benefit them. They have no idea what's really in these things. And they don't look at the labels like they should or the ingredients. Or they have to deal with that asterisk and a little proprietary blend that we all see. So quality over quantity in all shapes and forms in everything you do in life. It's all about quality because you can get a, a whole bunch of nothing and it's really not going to have any value to you. Okay, So we want to look at what we're intaking in our body. So it's always good to supplement different things. Not just for example, vitamins and amino acids. And everybody says, listen, you can get vitamins and amino acids from nutrition. So it's real simple to do, right? Sounds real simple, but it really isn't that simple. You don't almost have to be a perfect eater and eating all day long. Plus, let's not forget about our food sources, like the micronutrient content that we really get in some of these different food sources. Are we really getting the micronutrients and things that we really need to have our body properly run. And I'm telling you, in most cases, it doesn't do it. And vitamin D is a good example. A lot of people are vitamin D deficient. And here in Florida, I'm here, we get the sun all day. I've got a nice tan. I usually go out there and try to get at least 15 minutes a day. But during the week, I get a lot more. But I'm still vitamin D deficient. And a lot of people are in this category. Um, it's because our body doesn't absorb or, or process it properly anymore. So we have to supplement these different things. And vitamin D is just a perfect example because here at Titan Medical Center, we blood test and usually 8 out of 10 people are vitamin D deficient or very low in vitamin D. And at that point, when you're low in vitamin D or deficient, it can cause a lot of different health problems. Okay, Or you're not running at optimal or proper levels in your body like it should. So with these different things, make sure you guys know what you guys should be supplementing and don't overdo it. The reason you don't want to overdo it is you're taking all these different things in orally. If you're taking all these different things orally, I see like the, the pill challenge where people are swallowing 100 pills at a time. It's like, listen, your body has to break that down. And those ingredients in those pills or capsules or over-the-counter oral supplementation can cause damage to your liver because your liver has to process everything that runs through your body. Okay, it's like the filter for your body. And you might be putting a lot of stress on that and other organs in your body. So make sure you guys are educated on these things that you need to take in. Don't overdo it, okay? More is not always better, okay? So remember that. And quality over quantity. That's why me, I prefer the injectable vitamin amino acids. It's very simple, very easy. It doesn't have to run through my liver. It doesn't have to process through my gut. It's in, I know what I got. I'm running great levels because I can blood test and see. 
and it's just way more efficient and effective. So if you guys want to know more tips and tricks like these or have more questions you want to ask me, please DM us. If you guys want to get on our injectable vitamin amino acid therapies, it's real simple and easy. Just call or text us at 727-389-3220. I appreciate you guys. Stay healthy and stay tight and strong. Florida at the Rosen Plaza. Just finished eating, so I feel great. Took my ACA this morning. So check out the girls. Uh, you guys want to come see Eva and also Destiny? They'll be at the booth. Come check me out. Mid Florida Classic at the Rosen Plaza. Once again, sponsored by Titan Medical. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. What's up, guys? John here with another Cupid's Corner with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi! What's up, guys? So every week, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship ignite those, you know, maybe puffed out flames that were going on or mu muffled flames. Muffled. Uh, at, at that point, <laughs> we want to make sure that you guys are, are, are doing the right thing by your partner, doing the right thing by yourself, and hopefully having a healthy relationship in the bedroom, outside the bedroom, your personal life, business life, and so on and so on. Today, it's going to be at the table. So today, we're going to cover one that affects everybody, Ooh. and that is eating habits. So hungry right now. Right? So, <laughs> you know, when, when you, you have a partner, when you're by yourself, it's pretty easy. You have your own eating habits. Right. You have your own, you know, food and what you're going to eat, and that's just the way it is, right? But when you come into a relationship or you have a partner then, you know, you're dealing with two eating habits, right? And most of the time, people aren't really on the same page as far as the palate, okay? That's your know, taste buds and all that. You know, some people like to eat a little bit differently or might come from a different culture or different foods and stuff like that. And, you know, the partner might not be into it, might not like it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And they kind of maybe clash about some of these different things or say, oh, honey, you should try this. You're like, well, I just don't like it. Um, and they can't really go to the same restaurants or they cook the same meals at home or whatever it is, yeah. right? Then you're cooking double meals and it's like weird. So yeah, so then you guys try to find out what meals you kind of like the exact same and then, you know, you kind of go from there, right? If you're going for a longer relationship and you probably will come across, you know, different dishes that you both like, right? Hopefully. And, 
at that point your diet's kind of aligned to a certain degree or you might just be polar opposites you guys both mm-hmm. might just eat out all the time because you're working on the go don't feel like cooking whatever it may be and at that point you guys are just you know you know a whole different regimen as far as the other some might be into exercising so they're eating a more clean diet some might people might not be exercising and just eat unhealthy as it is mm-hmm. right so with me and Cherise, for example, when we got together, it was really, really lucky. Yeah, we uh, got really lucky. The stars aligned, destiny was there, and we pretty much had the exact same palate as far as <laughs> foods we liked. Yeah. Um, with like the, the condiments and stuff like that. You know, we didn't put a bunch of stuff on our yeah, food. We yeah. we like everything plain, right? So when yeah. we go to the restaurants or we go anywhere or we cook at home or really John cooks at home. So whenever that happens, right, everything's plain. The steak's plain. We don't put a bunch of stuff on the, on the steak, right? right? We don't put decorations. You know, when I go to these like fancy restaurants and we go out I'm sure the chefs in the back they, the decorations is what I call them right so the, I'm like can you please tell the chef to not put any decorations on my plate and they're like decorations like what are you talking about right now I'm like you know the little things like that you like you know because they like to put the little sauces and make it look all cute I'm like I just want the, the steak in the plate can you guys make that happen? Yeah. And it's like so insulting, yeah. really. But at least like we're both the same. So I'm like, I need two steaks with just the plate. Yeah. So I'm not the only one sitting there like, oh, I don't want your decorations. I don't care about your chef skills because no one cares. I just want my Gosh. steak. <laughs> it's bad, right? Tell me, listen, how many places have we went to? And I'm like, let's just say I don't want anything on the steak, right? And then I'm like, hey, do you guys have A1 steak sauce? And then some of these places don't even carry, like they make their own steak sauce, right? Well, I mean, if you cook a steak properly, you're not supposed to have exactly. steak sauce. Exactly, you're not right? supposed to. And if you go to a high-end steak, steak you know, joint or, or restaurant, you know, if there's really, really high end, then it's kind of like, hey, listen, no, we don't have this because the steak has the flavor, and that's right, what you're right. supposed to be eating, right. and you know, enjoying that flavor, not putting a sauce on there that's probably low end sauce. It has a whole bunch of different things in there that probably aren't good for you too, as well. Yeah, we ate, we I mean we pretty much ate all the we liked all the same things. The only thing that was a huge issue, and I'm sure that nobody else has faced this issue, but I hate, hate chocolate i love chocolate i mean when i tell you i hate chocolate i love it i don't just like it's re- it's actually like repulsive i want to go swim in it and bathe in it and put it all over my body yeah so he would eat chocolate right and i'd be like um you know like and he'd be like eating chocolate like right next to me right because we're in bed and so he's like good. eating these brownies and these cookies so good. and it smells like chocolate like Diva. chocolate like literally makes me want to throw up like I'm, uh, you know i'm not even allergic i just it's so disgusting i don't even know how you guys eat chocolate it's so gross like so i mean i'm uh, i've gotten to the point where i love him so much i actually went into a godiva store when they were open to get him chocolates and i would literally have to hold my breath and like gosh i would wait for the register to be so clear so i could be like I need those 10. Hurry up, box it up. Hurry, run, 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 run. Hurry, run, 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 run. So that was probably like the only thing that just didn't really like, you know, it was hard to kind of get over to some degree. But now he like eats it and he'll like, you know, swish it down with some lemonade or something. And it's like not as bad because I don't have to smell it. But I hate chocolate, right? Now, however, let's get into, because not just about the types of foods and palates, right? Let's talk about just food in general, right? And like, you know, maybe, maybe your habits. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to use one of my biggest pet peeves ever. Okay. Is that let's just say we have, um, chips, right? Or let's say we have cereal, right? Or something of that nature that requires a bag. Okay. And that bag has your chips or cereal. Now, if you do not close the bag all the way and put a little chip clip on it or close it all the way and tighten it up real nice and tight, then what happens is you end up with stale chips or stale cereal. And this is not a very good taste. And I feel like This happens in a lot of relationships where one person does and one person doesn't. Thankfully, John doesn't do that. But I have heard this on multiple occasions. And this is not just, it's not one thing. Like, another thing is maybe not tightening, you know, the screw screw all the way on your milk or your lemonade or something. And let's just say you go to, like, shake it. When you guys first, like, when you guys first meet. So you you don't know this about the person because you're still getting to know them, you know. This guy was a bachelor, let's just say. He's all living by himself. Me. This was not John. John is John is like very he was military style. Yeah. So he's pretty he's pretty neat and tight, thank goodness. But you know, there's a lot of guys out there that do this. You know, they they, 
and just put it all in the way, or a girl even just being lazy, and then you go to shake it up, and then boom, shakes all everywhere, right? And these are just the little things in life that you can just maybe sort of try to meet each other on a halfway point because. I mean, it could be a little, you know, it could be a little frustrating for your significant other. You must share these things like, hey, listen, babe, do me a favor and just can you just tighten up the, you know, the cereal box a little bit? Because then if not, it's going to be stale. Right. Or, you know, sometimes you have people that eat and, you know, they'll eat at the table. Right. And they'll eat and like talk to you with their mouthful of food. Right. And it's like you you, you somehow and this goes back to the communication skills. Right. Because you got to communicate. Somehow you're going to have to tell this person that you care about so much to please not eat with your mouth open, right? Because just like, can you just, just, just finish the food, swallow it, and then just tell me the rest of your thought process. It only takes about like a, maybe a second or two to just swallow the food and then finish it instead of being like, I'm yeah, my day. I mean, seriously, we went out with couples where I've seen this happen. So I'm like using these as examples. Yeah. I mean, me and John just got so lucky because, gosh, we don't do any of these things. I mean, it's proper <laughs> etiquette, right? You know, don't chew with your mouth or don't talk with your mouth full. Don't. That, that, these are like don't old school sayings that are true. All these it's things so are. It's so true. It's you so know? true. I mean, that, that's another thing, you know, is. And then I guess people have different ways of way they eat, right? So me and Sharice are, are similar in this too. Uh, food separation. Right? Yeah. We don't like our food touching. Okay, I don't care what it is. I used to have the separate plates. You know, like I, the I think maybe Sharice might do a couple of things, and like Peter does it too. Like they put like things in their mashed potatoes. They're and just they the corn. And I don't still like has to that. Be, it, has be, it still has to be. has to be separate, and I get to dip it myself. Do whatever you want. You know, everybody's <laughs> different, but I don't like that. Her and myself, they do. You know. <laughs> I don't like the food touching. And, and another thing that I don't like, you know, as far as that, when I go out to one of these restaurants, per se, right? Or, you know, I order my, my grilled chicken and my mashed potatoes. That come Slop it on top of the mashed potatoes. Why, why, when you go to a restaurant, slop do they it. put a steak or chicken right over the potatoes? They just slop it I on. don't want all the grease from that steak or, uh, on my potatoes that. and eating all that grease up. No, he I don't lo- want that. Loves and it. every high-end restaurant does it. I don't know <laughs> if they think it looks cool, if they want to build a little food building, <laughs> or what's going on out there. A cake, but guys, a steak, a steak, if you guys cake. are chefs, man, listen, make it look pretty if you want, but please don't top all that grease on top of my potatoes that I want to eat. Luckily, <laughs> we've dealt with this for a long time, and me and Teresa are the exact same. <laughs> Teresa, she'll do the order for us or whatever. We'll be and listen, it, if you get we'll order right wrong, away. Ain't going to be good. Be right away. So the other side to this, right? So if you guys are a couple especially, or if you, even if you're by yourself, get into good, healthy eating habits. That's one thing a lot of people out there, I think, don't do correctly nowadays or don't really focus things on. They, you know, A lot of people have gained weight, whether it's because of COVID, because of stress, because they just don't exercise, mm-hmm. whatever it may be. So at that point, they're not helping themselves because you know nutrition is a little bit a part of this, right? And I'm not talking about you guys eating like bland this and bland this all the time, whether it's you know just bland chicken, you know white rice every meal. No, you can change things up a little bit, but you want to get back on track of eating healthy, mm-hmm. and it helps your partner. Because, you know, if you start eating healthy, it's almost like setting the example for your partner. You know, when I came into the relationship with Sharice, I ate a little bit more healthier than Sharice did. I ate a lot of fast food. So at that point, you know, it kind of wears off. Like, hey, listen, like, these are the benefits. This is why you're maybe getting this inflammation. This is why you're maybe feeling bad. You know, you're not having energy. It's because you're eating garbage food. And it's like, uh, you know, like a race car. Or even, you know, you're you're driving an exotic car or a Corvette or a Mercedes or whatever it is. You got to put premium gas in it. Put the high-end gas in it. You're putting 93 in it instead of 87 and the car is going to run better because of that right and you know if you do have one of these cars or you have one in the past that you have did put 87 in there you could probably feel the vehicle not perform as better as it, good as it should be excuse me um put, and, put, put. and put put down the road yeah. right and you don't want your body to like that you are what you eat that's another old saying that mm-hmm. is true, true right because at that point you really are you're intaking this your body is uh, assimilating these things into your body and it's putting on your body, whether it's fat or it's using micronutrients um, or macros to help your body perform the way it should. And that's just one thing you got to look at. So if you get into healthier eating, then your partner will probably do it or probably be like, hey, listen, what's this? chug along a little bit. Yeah, or at least... I did. And then at that point when they get on it and they do start feeling better because you guys are eating better, I'm telling you guys, the relationship will get better too. People have more energy. People, you know, you'll be able to do a lot better things. Plus, you can maybe start cooking together in some instances. Mm-hmm. 
or you know like you know like i said going to the grocery store picking out these good foods for yourselves and your children because mm-hmm. that's another thing that i think we we miss out on is our kids are eating all this garbage just because us parents are so busy because we're working we got this we got that uber we're eats. always on the go uber eats is so easy but even with uber eats you can order good food on uber utilize eats. it but you can always order good food you off can. nice clean food yeah and if you guys are looking for the most bland or clean food on there usually look at the kids menu yeah grilled chicken breasts are usually on <laughs> all those across <laughs> get all the it's kids all meals. <laughs> because kids usually like plain stuff right because their palates aren't developed yeah and even with mine my, i don't We're care just big kids. i like my stuff plain and bland and that's just big the kids. way it is yeah. i know it's going to be good for my body and it's going to be a lot healthier for my body and i'm going to get better results with my body so that's kind of why i do it right i don't eat because i like the taste of food i eat because that's my fuel and some people don't think like that they're foodies and they like the taste of this I like and food. they want to taste that and yeah you know, I like to taste pizza and french fries. (laughs) It's good. It's some good stuff there. So it's okay to have some balance too. (laughs) This is another thing I was teaching my son over the weekend. Like, hey, listen, if you're eating clean majority of the week, right, you can have that Saturday or Sunday and not binge on garbage food, but pick some things out. Like we go to the movies, you can have a slushy, right? Because you ate clean and drink water and you're doing all these right things throughout the week. Majority of your time, you're doing the right thing. And, you know, that little bit, you're, you're letting it loose a little bit because you're having a little bit of balance. You don't want to burn out on things, uh, you know, and you want to enjoy life. So that's what it's all about. Yeah. The, the one thing I can leave you guys with before we end this episode is, um, you know, no matter how long you have been with your significant other, just so you know, because, you know, I'll always tell you how it is. I, I can't help myself. Um, but no matter how long you've been with your significant other, it is never, never, ever, 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 ever cute to burp or fart at a table. That's not cute. Not at all. Now, if you just, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. That's different right. than just like a <sighs> disgusting, like yeah. you, that is disgusting. Yeah. Like you're so gross. I can't even, ew. But that was a compliment to the chef. No, that is not a compliment to the chef. That's the old school saying. That is not. And the only reason I even say that is because, I mean, literally, I'll give a short example. We were at Peter, one of Peter's games the other day. And <laughs> one of his, I won't even label it so that in case a parent watches this and you know who you are. But like, you're sitting behind me and you're eating something from from the concession stand and like every you know and the wife is right next to him and like every like couple minutes he's like <laughs> like burping out loud where it's like i literally wanted to like turn around and be like you are so gross like yeah. could you stop like yeah. wh- and then, then ask the wife like what is your problem like why are you not correcting your your husband over here this is a reflection <laughs> of you you better correct it okay so just don't do it it's not cute i mean i understand you know the body how it works the human you know systems and stuff but um let's just you know try, try to keep it on the low low if you eat better, you'll probably have less gas, too, as Yeah, well. true, true. So this is a true fact. Very true. All right, guys. Another <laughs> Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. If you guys like this, please recommend it to your friends. Watch on ABC every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you miss it, don't worry. Check it out on Facebook or Instagram or even our YouTube page. Go there. Type in Type Medical Center. You'll see all these great shows and a lot more great content. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See there, ya. guys.